member on the show, uh, Joe Judice and Rosie had like the most amazing relationship. Um, they always got along together. I believe they're both Gemini's. Uh, they were just hysterical together. And so that David went there and he asked Joe, Hey, do you see like, um, do you see a possible recon reconciliation with, with Rosie? And then Joe said, oh, actually, she called me a few days ago. And then I guess she was with her sister and Richie. And they came on the phone as well. They all FaceTimed together. And he said he would be willing to meet up with them in the Bahamas if they ever came to visit him and have a drink with them, right? So Joe seems to be led by guns, be by guns. Uh, it was just to show I don't really have hate in my heart for people like for people like that. You know what I mean? I've known them my entire life and uh, I just don't see it that way. And one thing that I find very interesting and I, and I have a feeling that someone might <laughs> try to make him eat his words afterwards um, for being so honest with David. Joe said in the interview that when he got deported to Italy, um, I believe I believe Kathy and Richie were traveling at the time as well. And he received a warning from Teresa. Teresa told him, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Um, basically saying he, he, like he she didn't want him to make up with them. So Joe explains in his interview with David that um, when they called um, to try to get together, he just didn't answer the phone um, because he was just trying to respect Teresa. But this kind of answers a question that I had earlier on um, in my previous episodes of Housewives Relatable is that Joe Judas is willing to see Kathy, Richie, and Rosie, and that the person that that still has such a strong hold on Juju dies is Teresa. Teresa is the one who is not willing to make up. And even now that they're divorced, she's probably telling him, you can do this, you can do that. And you know what? It's not fair. I don't think it's fair. They're not together anymore. Joe Judice, it is okay to want to let go of the past. It is okay if you want to forgive people. It is okay to have your truth, your truth. To, to be honest with you guys, I feel like Joe, um, ever since he's divorced Teresa, I feel like he's been such a class act because there's so many things that he could probably say that he's not saying when it comes to his relationship with his ex-wife. But every few episodes, she seems to say something negative about Joe, right? And, you know, she says things like, I, I was never in love with him. Oh, I, I just married him to get out of the house. Um, you know, Joe was just a safe choice. And then on her podcast, she kind of explains that she, she was not attracted to him. He was trying to kiss her in Italy, and she was closing her mouth and all of that. You know, she laughed when Andy called her, called Joe Judice a caveman. And if you guys Remember, I didn't really like that comment too much, right? Because it's like, just because he speaks the way he speaks doesn't make him a bad person. We have Louis, who's very good with words, but hey, we're not really going to say what we think of Louis right now. But I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so Teresa, sometimes she goes there when it comes to Joe. She goes there. And sometimes it's, she's, she tends to forget that they still have children together and that Joe Judas is the father of her girls, right? So it's like, no matter how you feel about him, you could just say, you know what? We had 20 years together. Some were good, some were bad, but we have a great relationship and we're like great co-parents to our daughters. You don't have to go into all of those details, right? When it comes to Joe. But Joe never throws Teresa under the bus. He always protects her, even though he's not with her anymore. So you know what, Joe? If Kathy and Rosie want to come and visit you in the Bahamas, let them. And it's okay to let go of the past. It's okay to want to move forward. It's okay to not want to hold a grudge. And I think it's actually beautiful, which is something that, you know, Ter Teresa is unable to do at this point when it comes to her family relationship. So um, 
I'm going to play the recording for you guys right now. Stay tuned until the end. Ciao. Where, like, Teresa, you know, speaks to, like, Kathy and Rosie, and, you know, she kind of, like, ends things with them. And, you know, like, I think as viewers, viewers really flock to your relationship with Rosie. I mean, like, do you have any relationship at all? Like, do you talk to Rosie or Kathy at all anymore? I mean, do you miss you know, Rosie? What's funny is, you know what, I've known this family, I've known my ex since we were kids. I've known Rosie since we, she was a kid. Uh, we were all kids. I mean, we all grew up in Patterson. So, therefore, I've known these, my parents knew their family, their mothers and fathers. They all hung out at one point. We were all were together at one point. They were a little older than me, but we all know each other growing up. So, therefore, I know these people a very long time. And a matter of fact, they just called me. Uh, uh, I just spoke to Rosie a couple of days ago. She was in that, what, maybe three days ago. She was down in Florida with Richie, and I actually saw Kathy, and, you know, she came out to the low as well. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, what am I going to do? I mean, uh, not going to talk to him, I mean, uh, over, over a show? I mean, come on. Did they, did they come to the Bahamas, and you actually saw them, or they just called to say hi? No, 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 no. they called me on uh, FaceTime, you know? So they were in Florida because Richie's got a place there in Florida, I think, in Fort Lauderdale. And they just called to say hello, whatever. And Rosie was saying hello. I mean, they're not against Rosie. I think Rosie, so, you know, was always fun. I mean, we always got along. We never uh, fought or anything. I mean, it was always uh, between, um, you know, I guess, Kathy and, uh, you know, uh, whatever. Between that, because they got on the show. And, of course, you know, they had to do, you know, I guess what the brother's doing now. So, I mean, I don't I mean, it's just... Uh, kind of ridiculous to be honest with you. I mean, your family shouldn't act that way towards each other, but it is what it is. Were you shocked to hear from Kathy and Richie and Rosie? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, we, uh, a good friend of mine was here, and he happens to, uh, you know, because uh, uh, a, the, a friend of mine that was here uh, was our banker back in the day, still is, and uh, basically... Uh, you know, he's friends with Richie as well, and he, he you know, he said, you know what, you say hello to Richie. You know, I'm going to call Richie right now. All right, uh, folks. So, uh, you know, he called Richie, we said hello. I mean, look, do I really have, you know, uh, you know, whatever, uh, that kind of uh, anger toward? No, I mean, look, it is what it is. I mean, it's in the past, you know what I mean? Not a big deal. Whatever little uh, things that we, you know, argued about on the show, I don't even remember. But whatever, you know, it was like nothing, I don't know. I don't even remember the parts that we even did argue. Maybe they'll come to visit the Bahamas. You know, maybe it might have been a few scenes. Huh? Maybe they'll come visit you there. Yeah, they're talking about it. They were talking about it. I'm looking, they come, I'll have a drink with them and hang out. Why not? Do you think, like, Teresa would ever, you know, reconcile with them? And, I mean, do you want to give, like, to all your points, like, let bygones be bygones? Or do you know better not to give Teresa advice on who to reconcile with at this point? Yeah, I mean, look, I don't know. I mean, she's uh, pretty much done with all that, I guess. I mean, she, actually, when I got out and I was in Italy, Richie did reach out to me and Rosie and everybody, and they didn't want to say hello to me while I was there because they happened to be there. And, you know, my ex at the time was like, don't shoot there or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right.